Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking all about Asian beauty products. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and I am Tiffany for all of you guys who didn't already know that. Um, and today we're going to be talking about beauty products from Asia. So I'm really excited about this. I went to two different stores to haul these things for you guys and if you guys do want a review, go ahead and let me know down below. But Let's just get right on into it because we have some exciting new purchases for my beauty collection. So for lip things, I got three different things and I'm really excited to show these to you guys. The first one, I feel like if you follow any like Asian blogger, half Asian blogger, even like anyone who is obsessed with cute little packaging, then you would know this. This is the Tony Molly Petite Bunny Gloss Bar. Super cute. First off, the packaging is just, you know. I got the Mad Bunny though for some reason. Not all of their faces like that are like this. I just, uh, I wanted the cute one. It gives you kind of like this nice shiny gloss to your lips. Not too much color heavy, but it gives you a nice gloss. It moistens your lips and um, it does smell like cherries and it kind of like reminds you of Smackers lip balms if you guys remember those. And this is about $9. Now if you guys want to purchase any of these products, I will leave all of the stuff down below so you guys can go and check out the links. Uh, the next thing I got is also from Tony Molly. This is the Tony Tint Delight and this is in the color 02 Red. I believe that's what it is. And first off, the packaging is very scary. It looks like vampire blood, like the stuff that you get uh, for Halloween. But first off, once again, it smells super good, it smells just like cherry, and it has a really nice big doe foot applicator. And basically, it goes on pretty dark when you first start off, but when you use your fingers to just kind of pat it into your lips, it gives this really nice uh, look, and you could do a lot of ombre lips if you want to do that. Um, and I feel like the staying power is actually pretty good. It does fade after a while. I did try it for a little bit yesterday, um, but I realized that when I started to eat food, it came off faster, but then um, it kind of still have this like nice like light reddish tint to your lips, and I'm wearing it actually right now. Um, but yeah, there we go. It looks like I ate hot Cheetos. Uh, definitely go ahead and pick this up because it's only $6 and you can buy them offline. And the last thing that I got for her lips is the Tony Molly Lip Click Styling Color from Kiss Lover. And I believe Hanna, uh from 4 Minute or like was in 4 Minute, they broke up sadly. Some of you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. but. I love Hina and I think she is the ad girl for this lip kit um, and this one was a little bit more pricey. This is $18. I feel like Asian products, they do really good with their packaging but this one's just like normal packaging. Basically you just click up like this and it looks almost like a chapstick formula um, but it's definitely a lot creamier than the Tony Molly. This one's more like a glossy finish. This one's more of like a creamy satin finish and it's just a beautiful, just nice corally pink color and I thought that would be perfect for the summertime. And this is in the color G05. Now for other makeup items, I got two other things. This one is a Japanese beauty product. It's called the K Palette brand um, and this is the One Day Tattoo Eyeliner. And first off, the packaging is absolutely adorable, super cute. I love Japanese packaging and Korean packaging. And this is made with Bulgarian rose water. <laughs> and this is actually, it says for four years in a row, it's been number one like uh, customer pick. And I always like to go ahead and try all the products that are in the number one category for the customer's pick. And especially if it says like four years, five years, six years, those are the products you definitely want to pick up and at least try out. So it creates such a thin line. I love it. And this is actually in the darkest brown color. It's not actually black. They don't offer a black color. But it gives a very natural look and it has such a thin line that you can really just get as close to the lash line as possible for a natural look. If you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial with this, let me know or any of the products that I'm showing you guys today. This is about $18 as well. And the last makeup product that I got is from Etude House. This is the Play 101 pencil and this is so pretty. It is in the color number 5. 
and it is basically a goldish champagne colored sparkle eyeliner. So, so pretty. I love putting some sparkles or some crystals in the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten them and just make them look bigger and fresh. So this is definitely going to be something that I will be using pretty much in my daily makeup routine. And on the back side, it has a little sharpener. So super cute and I'm definitely going to be using a lot of this during the summertime. And this was a $9.90. So let's move into skincare products, which are my favorite things to purchase other than lip products. And I got a few different things. So I got two packs of sheet masks. The first one is the Pure Smile Sheet Mask. This is the Royal Jelly Essence Face Mask. If you guys haven't tried a sheet mask out already, basically it is just putting all the nutrients back into your skin that you took off from like exfoliating and wiping away dead skin cells. This stuff helps your skin out. If you guys haven't tried a sheet mask, Definitely go ahead and pick up some from your local store um, or online. They do sell them on Amazon and stuff like that. And this has hyaluronic acid, collagen, uvicone, and it also has honey extract in it. So Pure Smile sheet masks are actually the first ever sheet mask that I used when I was younger. This is the brand that I used. So if you buy them individually, they're $1.50 each, but these, this whole pack with eight of them was only $8. So you are saving a little bit of money if you do buy them in bulk. The next sheet mask pack that I got was from Lululun, and I've actually tried the pink one, which is the best seller, but this is a brand new one. It is the purple one, and it says it has as royal jelly I'm trying I'm reading it in Japanese and I'm trying to say it to you guys in English so hopefully I don't butcher anything um, it has hyarong, hyarong? I don't know what that is in English it also has yuzu extract which is a citrus fruit in Asia and it has a natural tonic to it so I'm really excited to try this out it says that it's supposed to give you like a more elastic texture to your skin so I'm definitely going to go ahead and try this out tonight I also picked up a pore pack and this is by the company Daiso it is a store it's a dollar fifty store if you guys don't know but I love using this once a week just to uh, eliminate any blackheads or whiteheads and super cheap so why not go ahead and pick it up right and this next thing I got online at Amazon and I just thought it was really funny and I really want to try it out this is the carbonated bubble clay mask by Evolica milky piggy brand I believe and it's so much fun I did try it out last night you just smooth it on and it feels like a normal face mask and then it carbonates and bubbles when it hits the air so it's really fun it takes out all your dirt and it does help your skin it does make your skin super soft afterwards but I definitely recommend moisturizing afterwards because it will dry out your skin if you don't do otherwise so that is everything that I purchased recently I hope you guys did enjoy that video as always I will leave my social media links right here for you guys to go ahead and check out and if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and click it and join our little family so I hope you guys enjoy and if you haven't watched my last video it's right next to me I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone Mwah.